Hey guys, so one thing that I've been focused on is how is this coronavirus going to impact my small business and your small business and all the friends and people that you love? And I just feel like we have to start creating and sharing and communicating what matters most in order to really have a, a lifestyle and a healthy world that we all desire. And one thing that has been great concern to me and from the people that I've been speaking with, uh, the, the uh, thoughts are resonating, is you know there is a lot of hype and hysteria about this virus, right? And it is really the flu, right? You know, based on all the data, and yes, it spreads very fast, um, but there's a very high survival rate, right? I'm used to dealing with Ebola, where there's a very low survival rate. So this feels better. Now, does that mean we don't respect it and we don't wash our hands and kind of keep things? No, we do that. And that means as small business owners, yes, we double down with our employees and our customers and we make sure that we have a very clean environment and we're really kind of delivering on that and if you know somebody's ill we let them go home um all those precautions are there and that's exactly what we do um but if we stop going to the coffee shop if we stop going to the local restaurant if we become hermits and we uh we stay home and we, we use fear, um, then, yeah, then that creates another effect, right? That, that damages you um, because you depend on those individuals to come maybe to your store. And I think we all need to make sure we're taking care of each other. We need to be healthy. And in that balance, we need to also be brave and have courage using our minds and recognizing that what we're hearing and what we're seeing needs to, needs to make sense. And I listen to the doctors. That's where my advice comes from. I talk to the folks at the CDC. Uh, I read reports from my doctors that are sending me regular bulletins just to let me know and keep me informed. And the advice is pretty consistent. And that is, yeah, we should live our lives. And if you're feeling like you have the flu or you have any kind of cold, you should, yeah, stay home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like anything else. So what is the survival guide for small business owners? So let's talk about that. The life of a small business owner and its ability to serve and grow and create opportunity and really just have joy in doing what you love is based on customers, right? Can't leave the lights on without the customers. I, I need you and I give value to you. And we need to be very mindful of that equation. And so, so what should small business owners do to survive the coronavirus? Number one, just consistently communicate the value of your organization, of your service, of your restaurant, of whatever your business is. Um, take care of your staff. Make sure they're healthy. They're taking care of themselves, right? We all know that people come in to fight through a cold that they're feeling. Now is not the time to be fighting through a cold that you're feeling. Um, yeah, that's completely wrong. Don't do that. Um, so we have to be a little more sensitive to that. Does that mean we need to close the restaurant because one person had symptoms of a, of the coronavirus? No. Yeah, you gotta clean up. You gotta disinfect, like normal. Um, but yeah, communicate that. And if your business is able to deliver services remotely maybe, that's a good plan. And that's one that I'm playing with right now. And it's exciting. Like, it's an exciting opportunity to, because I've been down here. I've done this before. I've done this remote part. And CVS today announced that they are going to be delivering prescriptions for free. It's a great idea. 
not only is are they the ones that are giving some of the, the drugs that can help people, but it's also the target demographic that is most high at risk to uh, to the flu and the coronavirus. So it's a win-win for them. Like they are, they're winning with that arrangement. So nice job, Walgreens. And think about restaurants. Can we deliver food? Can we box food up? Can we make it available? Um, there's also a huge opportunity. So number three, opportunity for you. So number one, to take care of your staff and you know, disinfect as you need. Number two is to see if you can deliver some kind of remote offering, maybe deliver prescriptions, whatever it is. Lots of variations, lots of opportunity. But, but number three, given the disruption of people's normal lives, it creates a new kind of standard as to where we are today, right? People aren't just going to school and going to work and there's that 12 hour gap. Some schools are taking a day off, a week off, a month off, um, and that's opportunity for the entrepreneur. That's opportunity for us to be creative and find things that we can do to serve them and give those that we serve in our community and those that we know we can value. What we can do, we should do. So, survival guide, my hope is that I'm able to share just one of these videos and the, I would say, the hysteria use the doctor's words that I just read, calms down and we can all get to life. Yes, I wish you nothing but health. I want us all to be healthy and live for a very long time. But at the same time, if we live in fear, we will manifest problems far exceeding the touch and potential of any virus. So be safe. We're gonna make it through this, and hopefully this is my only video on this. But my goal is to share from the entrepreneur side of what this means to us and what it should mean to you. So, have an awesome day, be healthy, do well, and let's be creative and find ways to really give value, and go visit your friend's restaurant, go visit your friend's gym, go visit Buy that hot dog from that person on the stand that you know, right? Let's, let's support each other and let's help each other. Because if we can help each other through this crisis, this hysteria, whatever it truly is, then we'll all make it together. And isn't that the point? Appreciate you very much.